a lot of it's so far out. Like, for instance, they want men playing in women's sports. I don't think I could ever say I'm thrilled about that, okay? I've seen it. I've seen people really hurt. In the Olympics, you had two boxes that transitioned to women. And in the women's boxing, they both won gold medals. And you saw the one, the young Italian girl got hit a couple of times. She said, oh, I'm, bye-bye. This is patently false on so many levels. To be clear, this was the question teed up to him. Like, if you're elected in November, like, how will you look to unite everybody through your communication, your yeah, behavior? it's a great question. It's a great question. And yet he went off on that tangent. More from the interview It person. was a weird thing. I mean, she got hit very hard, and only with lefts. You know, it's boom, and she then walked <laughs> back to the corner. She said, I just got hit by a horse. I can't take it. And then she walked back. You're right about a little bit right, but... But she's fighting a man. Again, false. And as we have seen, he can be sued for comments such as these. But anyway, so no, but the two guys, there were two of them, and they both won a gold medal. No, incorrect. Amani Khalif is a woman. And not only that, she became Algeria's first gold medalist in women's boxing. As we have gone over time and time again, it is illegal to be trans in her home country of Algeria. The other reference he made is to Lin Yuting of Chinese Taipei, who won gold as well. He would also say this. You want to see the country united, but we have like two very different, you have a very conservative side and a conservative side, and then you have people that want to see an open border. Got to pause here because this is flat out untrue and a lie. I know you're not trying to zing your colleagues, but it's your colleagues in your party, sir, who torpedoed this, who, 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 who didn't get the facts right on what you just outlined was in that measure. They killed it. Ironically, not Democrats. Right. It, it was, and it was painful to be able to watch it. It got stirred up in all the presidential politics, and several of my colleagues started looking for ways. Uh, after President Trump said, don't fix anything uh, right. during the presidential election, it's the single biggest issue during the election, don't resolve this, we'll resolve it next year. As told by a fellow Republican Oklahoma Senator, James Lankford. In fact, I had a popular commentator four weeks ago that I talked to that told me flat out, before they knew any of the contents of the bill, any of the content, none, nothing was out at that point, that told me flat out, if you try to move a bill that solves the border crisis during this presidential year, I will do whatever I can to destroy you. So no, no nah, man, who practically dresses in drag. It's not Dems, it's actually you. It's you who shut it down. Anyways, Awful Announcing would have a really good write-up on this, and they noted what they would deem to be a testy exchange between Will Compton, the uh, one half of the show Bussin' with the Boys, which is where this interview aired on the Barstool Sports Network. Will Compton is an ex-NFL player as well, and the Republican nominee for president, Donald Trump. So Trump would say, and I quote, she got hit, beautiful girl, as in Italy's Angela Carini. She got hit by two jabs, and that was the end of it. That's interesting. So in other words, she should have gotten the blank knocked out of her. Then Compton would simply reply, no, she could have gotten in there and scrapped and gone on to win. I'll share my thoughts in a moment. Trump would immediately respond by saying, this guy's a nasty, he's a nasty guy, which is a typical comeback for this guy. From AA, then all three of them, including co-host and former NFL player as well, Taylor Luan, attempted to talk over one another. It was reminiscent of two presidential candidates trying to argue over one another during a debate, albeit with a lot less vitriol. Trump would add he wants her to go in there and just get the hell beat out of her. She had a beautiful face. She wants her on the floor bleeding profusely, broken nose. It'll never be the same again. Scar down the face. You're a tough guy. He's a tough guy. She might have done the right thing, and I'm not one that says that. The two guys, there were two of them, and they both won a gold medal. Okay. First things first. As we stated previously, we'll work from you know backwards to the front. They are women. They are recognized as women. But to Riley Gaines, Donald Trump, and the like, what they see is opportunity because that's exactly what they are. Riley Gaines had her claim to fame by being a fifth place finisher. She won a few other races, but because Leah Thomas, who is a trans swimmer, per the NCAA's bylines at the time, they tied and she got the medal 
she got an award prior to Gaines because they went in alphabetical order. Neither of them won that race, and she went on a crusade to simply admonish, attack, demonize, and in the words of Michael Knowles, potentially eradicate with her own words trans people from society. Donald Trump doing this shows that he doesn't care what the facts are, par for the course. All he cares about is trying to make an issue out of nothing. He's doing it with the border bill, or lack thereof. He's doing it with trans rights, because he sees a way to garner votes. It plays into, they are replacing you. They are treating you like the lesser. I am your champion. I will fight for you. When we have already gone over, trans people make up less than 1.8% of the population of 335 million people. In high school sports, they make up way less. College sports, even lesser. This is not an issue. But to Republicans and conservatives like Donald Trump and Riley Gaines and others, all it is is potential. It serves as the underbelly of hatred and vitriol in order to reach the presidency once more. And I must say, I do believe that Will Compton playing nice, because that is what they have to do. That's the whole reason they got this interview, is by playing nice and showing their conservatism over the years, whether it's on Twitter or through their own dialect on this network and this show specifically. I do believe that this was him trying to show, potentially if it shows up in court, hey, I said this, that Angela Carini, who he didn't name, should have gone in there and fought and tried to win, which she should have. And by the way, she has been hit harder. Amani Khalif does not have a high knockout rate, as we have covered many times over. She actually, if this were to be seen as just boxing overall, she doesn't pack a hard punch. But Angela Carini, who has been shown in the past to take a dive in previous tournaments, then took another one. Not saying she didn't get hit. She did. She got hit hard. But she bowed out after getting hit by one punch. She quit. She would later admit that she quit. And she apologized for making this the story of what it never was. Playing into the arms of what can only be deemed irresponsible rhetoric from one side of the political aisle that wanted to make Imani Khalif out to be a villain when she is not. Sean Engel of The Guardian also should not get any praise for his coverage during the Olympics because he said there was blood going down her shorts. The blood was about that much. Maybe that wide. Not that wide. That long. And it was on her shorts. It was a sliver. We learned where he stood as a member of the press as well. And how his tweets would deceive the masses. Frankly, I'm surprised that he showed a picture of her shorts. But let me just say, the fact that Trump would go after somebody simply for having, having a differing opinion on a very serious topic shows so much to me. It just does. And in typical fashion, as I see these coddling interviews with Donald Trump, they would give in and move on. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.